Honourable Member for Abitibin Temiskaming. Today we've learned that the Australians are thinking of slowing down their procurement of the F-35 fighter. The reasons for the review are clear. The plane won't be delivered on time, Co project costs are exploding, and technical problems are multiplying. I can tell you through experience that any soldier who is tasked with the mission has a plan B in case things don't pan out as planned. But this government does not even respect the basic principles taught to our soldiers. Why is this minister still not producing a plan B? The Honourable uh, Associate Minister of National Defence. Royal Canadian Air Force has flown CF-18s for 30 years. We are working with our allies to replace our aging aircraft with new state-of-the-art F-35s that will protect international stability and, of course, for decades to come. Mr. Speaker, Australia faces an immediate challenge in replacing older aircraft much sooner. As we have been doing, we will continue to closely monitor the international development of the F-35 and the capabilities for the Canadian forces, Mr. Speaker. The Honourable Member for Abitibi-Temiskamang. Any minister that says that everything's fine with the F-35 is denying reality and showing irresponsible management. The U.S., the U.K., and Australia are all in the process of reviewing their programs. A single problem with the F-35s would have encouraged me to have a plan B in case uh, if I was in the minister's shoes. But this minister, regardless of this slew of problems, still doesn't have a plan B. I would like to know when the minister will get his head out of the clouds and finally table a plan B. The Honourable Associate Minister. Mr. Speaker, I don't know where all this rhetoric comes from other than desperation. Mr. Speaker, our government is committed to getting the best equipment for our Canadian forces at the best price for Canadians with the best benefits for Canadian companies and Canadian workers. Canada's participation in the development of the F-35 along with our closest allies assures that the Canadian forces will have the best equipment to achieve mission success, Mr. Speaker. The Honourable Member for Beaches, East York. Mr.